Hello, dear Basic One people. You're welcome to our episode two, part two. For every part, we'll be having session A and session B. For every part, we'll be having session A and session B. Get your writing materials, your textbook. Of course, we're still making use of our iconic showers mathematics for primary skill. For your class, we're having book two. Keep your textbook close by. Very importantly, all notes written must be written on your engagement exercise book. Are we ready? All right. In our episode two, our topic was geometry and shapes. And in part one, we have learned 2D shapes. That's two dimensional shapes. And we really enjoyed the lessons. Thank you so much, those of you that have done your homework. Now, today's lesson in the session A, of course, we'll be learning 3D shapes. Like earlier defined, 3D shapes are shapes that have height, width, and depth. Height, width, and depth are called three-dimensional shapes. Now, what I expect of you during and at the end of this lesson is that you should be able to identify and draw 3D shapes. Two. List objects with 3D shapes. 3. State various properties of 3D shapes. Now, quickly, open to your page 152, chapter 13. Page 152, chapter 13. We have some examples of three-dimensional shapes. Some examples of three-dimensional shapes are on the screen and definitely in your textbook. We have here a cube, a cuboid, a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, and a pyramid. These are beautiful examples of 3D shapes. A cube is made up of various squares. All the sides are equal. A cuboid made up of various rectangles. Now let's look at specific properties of these 3D shapes. We begin with a cuboid. A cuboid, this you can find in your math textbook page 153 look at the properties of cuboid a cuboid has eight faces it has eight faces you can see it clearly in your mathematics textbook page 153 and the objects below are examples of shapes are examples of objects with a cuboid shape. The objects below are beautiful examples of a cuboid. We have the, the refrigerator, the matchbox which you are con conversant with, the tissue box, of course the deep freezer that is in your mommy's kitchen. These are beautiful examples of a cuboid. Let's also look at the next shape, we have the a cube. A cube has six faces, six faces. It has eight corners. It has eight corners. And it has 12 straight sides that are the same. Now, when you get while you are home, you can ask mommy to give you a cube of spice, maybe star maggie, star maggie. Ensure you don't lick it. 
try to count the various faces on the cube. Either you use a sugar or a dice or star maggi. You will notice that it has 12 straight sides, it has 8 corners and it has 6 faces. 6 faces, 8 corners and 12 straight sides. The next shape there is a cylinder. A cylinder. Do you have a container in the house? Maybe your Ovaltin container? Or do you have a pick milk container? Pick any object in the house. Maybe you have a canned drink. Try to look at these properties. It has three faces as indicated on the screen and in your textbook. It has no corners and it has two straight sides. Two straight sides. Let's look at the next shape there is a cone. A cone. Look at the properties of cone. A cone has two faces. It has one corner and it has a curved side. Examples of objects that have a cone shape are on your textbook and on the screen. You can find those of you that like taking ice cream. That's a cone shape. We have a party heart, a funnel, a Christmas tree, and a paper megaphone. These are examples of objects with a cone shape. And finally, let's look at a sphere. A sphere. Over here, the earth. The moon, the sun, the basketball, the soccer ball, and the world globe have the shape of a sphere. A sphere has just one face and it has no corners. Have you seen that? Beautifully enough, we have come to the end of our episode 2. Do well to do this homework. You open to page 154 you don't need to write on your textbook you look at the shape you write the name of the shape as question one and how many faces you just state the properties of that shape all this work should be done in your engagement exercise book please don't write on your textbook don't write in the math exercise book in your engagement exercise book, do all this homework. Question 1, page 154 and page 155. Exercise 1, you answer question A to E. Look at number 2, still on page 155. You write the name of the shape in your engagement exercise book. But if you can draw the shapes, you do the drawing, then you state which shape it is. Is it a cone? Is it a triangle? Is it a shape? Exercise 2, question A to E. Page 157. You also do exercise 5, question A to E. Question A to E. You state the, you might not need to draw for question 3. You can just write the name of the object and tell us what shape it has. Do we understand? God bless you.